Good morning everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. We left you on a bit of a cliffhanger at the end of the last one. We just had the septic tank emptied and cleaned out. We just turned on the water and then we left it there and we're going to explain why. <laughs> We're the Indie Project, B and Theo. In 2017, we bought an abandoned property in central Portugal and spent the last few years turning it into a fully fledged homestead, converting an old stone barn into a cozy tiny home. Working non-stop and overcoming many obstacles, it turned out better than we ever could have imagined. As one chapter closes, another one begins. Our dreams of living even more remotely in a fairy tale forest with space for animals to roam and our passions to grow became a reality. Before we have even moved there, it was devastated by a huge wildfire, drastically altering the landscape. Immense flash floods followed as the land couldn't hold onto the water. Follow us as we carve out our new life on Miracle Mountain. So the situation did not go as planned. Right where I'm standing, we have three different stopcocks. We turned them all on and that's where it went a little bit fruity. One stopcock went to this font, the second one went to the house and the third one went to this tap and this tap and this tap and we have a tap here. And last but not least, we have this tap outside of the garage. And the wild thing is, that's only the taps that are on that line. There's many other taps around the property. But what happened was there was a leak further down, which meant it used all of the water in our 3000 litre tank in a matter of minutes. We ran into the house, we flushed the toilet once, <laughs> we turned the tap on and suddenly there was no water available. So if you've been following us for a while, you will know that a massive fire raged through this property last year, just after we'd bought it, which meant there was a lot of stuff to repair, which we have been doing. But unfortunately, we hadn't got to repairing those little leaks yet that were caused by melted pipes. So then it caused an airlock because 3000 liters of water completely ran out. And that was tricky to fix because our water tank is halfway up a mountain. Once the airlock was fixed, we were very excited because we were then ready to turn the water back on. And we were just excited about the prospect of having a nice warm bath. A bath? So it's something we've been dreaming of. So if I undo this, this is the inline filter. I took this off to fix the airlock and you can see it's been damaged. So the previous person who has screwed this back on last time had damaged the inline filter. You can see the O-ring and the rubber coming off there and it wasn't sealing and therefore it was leaking. So then I had a couple of days of exploration around different cities to find a new filter and to fit it. It was a bit complicated because I couldn't find the exact same size, so I had to get step down rings. I also had to get one that was slightly bigger in actual size, which is fine, but the pipe work was done when this place was originally built and was concreted the pipes into position so they didn't have any flex or give. Oh, I tried to style it out and keep going, but. It just felt there was a needle in my leg. Mate, where did you come from? Ow. Honestly. Okay. These, these wasps get us every year, wherever you are. If you ever come to Portugal, watch out for these wasps because they're meanies. So, yeah. where was I? <laughs> Basically, <laughs> this was not good. It needed to be replaced. The pipes were concreted in. I had to get my hammer, my brick hammer, and my chisel out. I chisel away all of the this really tough concrete away from the pipe so I had some flex and then I could fit the filter. I fitted it, it all worked, there's no leaks. We now have water, Yay! which is incredibly exciting. And then we found out the boiler doesn't work. So we've got no hot water, but we're just happy with cold water at the moment. We can flush the toilet. We can use all of the facilities, the dishwasher, the dishwasher that has just changed our lives. <laughs> And soon we'll have hot water. If we have to buy a new boiler, we have to buy a new boiler, but we will see. But it's exciting times. We are literally- On the cusp. Days away from moving, but we've got a lot to do. So let's go in the house. 
Thank you to Wondershare Filmora 12 for sponsoring today's video. If you've been thinking about editing your own video but don't know where to find the right software, look no further than Wondershare Filmora 12. It is a great option for beginners with its user-friendly design and multiple features, helping you to create great quality videos to share with others. Wondershare Filmora 12 was officially released on December 12th and has some awesome new functions that have made such a benefit to our video editing process, including adjustment layering, the AI audio stretch and multiple platform support. Multiple platform support. We do a lot of traveling, so having a platform that allows us to edit our videos on a plane, on a train, or at home on a Mac or a PC means that I'm always able to edit my videos. AI audio stretch. Sometimes I want to add background music to the video, but the music length isn't the same as the video length. Normally this would take a lot of work by cutting up the music, but now I can stretch the music to the length of the video and it will automatically shorten the music. Adjustment layer. Sometimes applying the same effect to multiple clips can be very time consuming. We like to save as much time as possible to work on our projects, so using the adjustment layer to apply the same effect to multiple clips is such a great time save. Head over to the link in our description to try out Wondershare Filmora 12 for free and start editing your videos from anywhere. We just had a call from the delivery driver saying that a parcel's on its way and we think it's a Starlink. <laughs> yeah. It said it was going to take weeks to arrive, but I swear I only ordered it like a week ago, so Literally. this is exciting. Here we have it, our very own Starlink. This is going to make such a difference uploading videos because at the moment here the internet is pretty patchy and I'd like to just say this was the best parcel delivery ever because the delivery guy said bon Portuguese to me because I did it all in Portuguese. This Portuguese is getting amazing. I'm stoked. <laughs> it feels like everything is happening at once. We're getting deliveries left, right and centre. We just got the Starlink. My nails for the nail gun arrived, which is absolutely brilliant. That means we can crack on with various bits of work that I've been waiting to do with the nail gun. And we had an IKEA delivery yesterday and our bed, mattress, everything has arrived. So right now we're gonna set that up. moment of truth, the colour reveal on our bed. Oh, this is nice. Oh, that is lux. Beauty. Look at that. I don't know if that comes across no, on camera. No, it just looks kind of black on camera, but Come it's closer. not. It's a dark green. Come closer. <laughs> we'll have to get it in some better light. Maybe if you come that way. And I'll put it in the light so, you can, so the camera can see it. Oh, it's such a beauty. Look at that. It's gonna look so lovely. We're all lovers, we're all leavers, finders and seekers. Have the wishing well, have the wishing well. We're all dancers, we're all dreamers, losers and keepers. Have the wishing well, have the wishing well. Enjoy your ride around the sun. So as you can see, we've got the bed frame up and it's wonderful. I'm very excited to get the slats on and then the mattress and actually see what it feels like to lie on it. And I'm also holding a really beautiful light because we are gonna be replacing the original ones. There's two of those in here. They're the only lights for this room. And That's we're gonna, gonna be... go so yes. well with the color, yeah. the gold, like it's so nice. We're gonna be swapping them out with these. They're really beautiful. It's giving a nice, warm, cozy bedroom vibe. Let's get the slats on. Let's do it. We're all lovers, we're all leavers, finders and seekers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit scared to try and get this mattress out because we've already actually tried to get it out and it is wedged in there like it never wants to leave. I like think we should cut the whole wound. box open. Yeah. Do we have anything to do that with? Because that kitchen I think. Can we just appreciate that the bed's there and we have so much room? So much room. 
Do we want to need this much rain? Could definitely swing a cat or two. A Fernando. Fernando and Gingy holding hands. <laughs> okay, let's try it with that kitchen knife. See if we're gonna slice this mother open. <laughs> Arms. How are we going to lift it onto the bed and dreading it? So heavy. Is this mattress. Pounds? Yeah, this mattress literally is the weight of a person. It's like carrying a dead weight as well. Like, it's just a monster. Once it's on that, it's never coming off again. Here it is. Right. Oh. We just need to make sure that we get it on without breaking our back. Oh, yeah. Way, so, way. yeah, there was a picture here. Put it on, unfold it, and leave it for 72 hours. This is when we find out it's the wrong size. I think it's perfect, the perfect size. I think it is the size. Okay, yeah. Just do that one, and then you can just put it in the same position. Perfect. You don't need to be on it. No, it said that. Get your slippers off. There was a picture and it said you could you could go to sleep right now. <laughs> Just look out the window from the height that we put it. Oh, and all you can see is like water in the lake, trees, forest. Oh. Out here, forest. See look, there's a picture of a man sleeping on it and saying it flattens out after sends to your house. So. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. Look at that view. That is a sick view. <laughs> We're just surrounded by trees, blue skies. <sighs> That's lovely. We're so stoked with how our bedroom is coming along in our new home and I can't wait to spend our first night in there soon. But we need to spend all of our time and effort focusing on our chicken's bedroom, which is here. This is an A-frame, super simple, so quick to build. We've literally spent two hours so far and we're at this point and inside, B has just rounded off the perches for the chickens so it's nice and comfortable on their feet and then we have three massive nesting boxes because we have Bramers. Bramers are a really big breed of chicken and that is why we need a pretty substantial chicken coop and all we need to do now is start sheathing the outside and we have a little doorway where they can run into their enclosure that we're going to get on with hopefully soon. I'm so happy with how it's turning out. I think Theo's just about to use a tool. Oh, it's not it's not Theo was just about to use a tool, but it's not plugged in. And I wanted to say, I'm super happy with how this coop is turning out. It's gonna look lovely. And I've got some really good finishing touches that are gonna turn it into a really, really wonderful coop for my wonderful chickens. But I just wanted to explain the back of the coop because it's pretty cool we've designed it so no predators can get in so we've got these metal latches that we will put a piece of metal through and it means that no animal is going to be able to lift the latch up and pull the door open and the reason we've got doors at the back is because we need to access the eggs obviously the beautiful eggs we get from the chickens every single morning and, and we also need <laughs> we need to be able to clean it the inside so we need to open a small coop quite wide 
on an A-frame, which is a little bit tricky, but we've got this medieval system going on, <laughs> like you'd have in a castle. So all I've got to do is undo these latches, move them up, just like that, it's really quick. Take this out. This flips down, you can get the eggs, and then you can flip this all the way up and clean out the inside of the coot. So we're really happy with it. It's super quick and easy. We're not here for long enough. We're coming in leaps and bounds with the coop. We've got the Tyvek on so it's good and watertight. We've got the battens in place ready for the sheeting to go on. The front is cladded. It looks super cute. And here we've got the entrance hole for the chickens to go out into their secure enclosure. So we just need to get the sheeting on and then we can paint. And the morning birds are singing and the clock chimes are ringing. I need you right here beside me. For the neighborhood walks and the pillow talks are oh, right here beside me. Pull me in close, soft and slow. I am yours to hold. My difficult days seem to melt away when you're right here beside. Fall to sleep, I can breathe in deep when you're right here beside me. When you're right here beside me. When you're right here beside me. So I'm at our off grid property and I've started chopping some firewood because it dawned on me that we're going to be moving into our new home really soon, hopefully in the next three or four days, which is very exciting, but we need to keep warm. It's a big house and the way to warm the house is by a beautiful log burner, which is like the center of the living room. So I've already made a start with the chainsaw and I've got a lot of eucalyptus left over from various building projects on this property that I'm never gonna do anything with. So it makes sense to chop it up and burn it. It's been drying for three years, so it's lovely and dry and ready to burn. When the years have gone, I'll still be singing you this song right here beside you. I'll be right here beside you. I'll be right here beside you. I'll be right here beside you. I have just finished loading up the trailer full of this eucalyptus that was just left over. And this should actually see us out till the end of winter, which would be amazing because then that gives me time at Miracle Mountain to head into the forest, fell some trees, build a woodshed, stack the wood and let it dry out all summer until the following winter where we can start using it. That is what we want. We want to be completely self-reliant. A massive thank you to Omelette who sent the chickens a walk-in run as a moving in present. We wasted no time in getting it set up for them so they could be in their new lives with us at Miracle Mountain. And the great thing is about this Omelette chicken run is it's super quick and easy to put up, which means we can finally move all of the animals over tomorrow. I'm so excited about that. And that means when the animals are here, we can move in.
assembly of this omelette run has been really straightforward and a lot easier than we thought it was. It's always a bit daunting when there's loads of pieces, but it's actually been super simple and I'm loving this size. I love the height, it's brilliant. I can put perches up in here. So they've got all different access to different areas and they can have their own space and they can run around and have a great time and be safe at the same time. I wasn't sure what to expect when I saw all of the boxes and all of the pieces, but it has come together really quickly. They say on their website about 90 minutes for this size and we're at about 90 minutes now and all we've got to do is just attach the roof panels and then it's chicken ready. The run is finished and it looks so good. How cute is this? I'm so excited for the chickens to move in. It's so, so, so secure. The material is absolutely fabulous. And I really like the fact that it comes with an inbuilt predator skirt so they can't dig in and get underneath because we all know foxes and digging predators like to do that. So it's got lots of good things about it. And, and if this you... barn door. Yes, the barn door is just brilliant. I love the fact, oops, that <laughs> so you can just open the top or the bottom or have both open which is really really handy and the guys at Omelette have given us a 10% discount for you guys it's valid until the 31st of March and if you use the code IndieProj we'll put it on screen here you can get a 10% discount I highly recommend this I'm really happy with it and it was so simple to build so I just finished really quickly slamming together a little tunnel from their chicken coop to their chicken run and tomorrow, once the paint's dried, we'll bring the run forwards towards the coop. I'll cut a little hole and then they can go backwards and forwards as their hearts desire. <laughs> We're so happy with how it's all come together. We are pretty much chicken ready. And it means in two days, we can all move here. The cats, the goats, the chickens, everyone. <laughs> We're incredibly excited. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And don't miss the next one because we're moving. <laughs>